Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is valid palindrome. Given a string, determine if it is a palindrome, considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. Basically, we're given a string, possibly a sentence, and we're going to check to see if it's a palindrome, but ignore non-alphanumeric characters and spaces. If you remember how you figure out whether a string is a palindrome, basically you'll have two pointers, one for the left side and one for the right side, Check to see if the characters are the same, and then increment the left side and decrement the right side, and then do it until the left and right pointers reach the middle. If each character is the same, then we know it's a palindrome. Otherwise, we break the loop and we turn a false. Uh, you could also start in the middle and move outward, but that requires it to do it twice or figure out if the length of the string is odd or even. So we'll forget that. We don't, uh, we don't need to do that for this question. So we'll do it in the typical way, but we'll create a while loop to ignore the non-alphanumeric characters. So let's start with initializing two pointers, the left pointer and the right pointer. It's going to be 0 and the length of string minus 1 because it's 0 index. All right, so while L is less than R, what do we want to do? Uh, first, we want to make sure this left pointer is pointing to the next alphanumeric character. Uh, we want to ignore all the non-alphanumeric ones. So we'll have a second while loop and say while is less than L is less than R, and S of L is, um, is well, we'll continue this loop if it's not alphanumeric, right? So if S of L is not, and there's a method called is al num, which checks to see if this character is alphanumeric, alphabetic numeric. All right, so if it's not, then we're going to increase our right left pointer and we'll just do that until we hit the next alphanumeric character now same thing with the right side uh, while not s out num for the right side we'll just decrement and i think i made a typo here there we go okay so at this point we, we want to check we want to check to see if the left one and the right one's the same and remember that we are going to ignore cases so if s L, let's make it lower, is not equal to SR lower, then we return a false. Otherwise, they're the same, so let's move on to the next character. And we just want to increment our right, left, and decrement our right. Or I'm sorry, increment our left and decrement our right. Once we're out of this loop, we know that this is a palindrome. So we can just return a true. Let's go ahead and see if this works. It looks like it did. Let's go ahead and submit that. And there. So that's accepted. There is one other approach I want to go through, and that's to use regex. I'm a data engineer, so I am familiar with regex. I'm not super um, great at it, but uh, it is something that comes in very handy for data cleansing and, and just working with string data in general. So you can use regex and do a replace or a sub to replace all the non-alphanumeric characters with just blanks. And that way we can just do a regular palindrome uh, check, making it a little bit easier for us. So let's use regex sub. And what we'll do is pass in the pattern. What do we want? Well, if you know your regex, we want the non, we want to replace the non-alphanumeric characters, right? So we could use the hz and say not a to z, as well as not um, uh, not numeric. So that would be or not zero through nine. Now we want to replace that with empty strings, and we will pass in the string, but make sure just lowercase everything, uh, so that we we don't need to bother with. Um, yeah, bother with the cat, worry about casing. So once we do that, we don't actually need to even do this lower thing here. This will just be the typical check palindrome. Uh, we'll check, and once we get through this loop, we'll return a true. So let me make sure I didn't mess anything up here. Uh, this looks good, but let's go ahead and submit that. And there, so that's accepted. This is actually faster. 
Um, I'm not completely sure what the time complexity on this is because regex is kind of mysterious in terms of time complexity. Um, sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's slower. And sorry, I'm just not that great at knowing time complexity with these things. But this does require more memory. On the other hand, it's a little more readable uh, if you know your regex especially. So I kind of like this approach better. So that's it. Um, hopefully that helped. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.